Hello YouTube, this is Miss Vindicant and in this video I'll be unboxing earpods from the Apple Store. Um, I ordered these earpods the day before yesterday. Uh, they came in this white envelope. However, I wasn't at home. Uh, they were well, somebody tried to deliver them, somebody working for DHL Courier. Um, but I wasn't at home, so they tried to deliver it the day after I ordered them. And then I got to pick them up today, the day after, again. Um, it's just a small envelope. It's a little bit crinkly. I like the noise it makes, or well, the sound it makes, I should say. Um, this pink strip, uh, I put it on because my address was on there. And there's a sticker on the back of this sealed air meal light envelope. Um, and I guess the NH means not home, um, because, you know, I wasn't. Uh, so yeah, let's get some scissors. I've got some pink scissors that fit the pink paper. And let's see what's inside. So I'm just going to use the scissors to open it up. Alright, let's take a look inside. There is a white box. Let's get it out. So, here they are, the Apple EarPods. And these are the ones with a lightning connector, which is this flat connector thingy, uh, which means that you can use these for the iPhone 7. That's the iPhone that I use uh, and up. So the newer models have this one as well. Um, and the older models have like the round jack connector. That is different. Um, now these do have a wire, so they are not the expensive wireless ones. These are just like the simple connectors that AirPods that come with the phone. Um, and I bought them from the Apple store, the website for 29 euros not too bad i guess um, and i already had one of these uh, but those broke down like the only the right ear was working and then not even all the time so the sound would fall away and return and it well, was a mess basically so there is this little plastic thingy with a number seven Let's get it out of here. A lot of plastic. I don't know if this plastic thingy was really necessary. I guess not. Not for me, but... Well, I don't know the whole production process, so maybe there is a reason. Um, so the box feels nice and sturdy. I usually like the boxes that Apple makes. So let's take a look. I like that there's not the word Apple on there, but just the Apple sign, Apple earpods. This side is just empty. Here there is a sticker, it says compatible with devices using iOS 10. And then also in a lot of different languages, French, German, uh, Italian, Spanish, and I think this is Russian, but I'm not really good at Russian, like not at all, so, but I guess it is. And then over here, let's see, earpods with lightning connector designed by Apple in California, made in Vietnam. I hope they were good for the people that made them. Uh, model A1748, uh, Apple Inc. One Infinite Loop. Cupertino, California. Yeah, that's their famous address. And then here, 
It was actually sent to me through the Apple Distribution International Holly Hill Industrial Estate in Cork, Ireland. Yeah, interesting. This side empty again and then the back. It says AirPods with lightning connector and then again in French, German, Italian, uh, Spanish and this is not the Russian one. That is interesting. Uh, no, it's not. This might be Japanese, Chinese, don't know. All right. So let's see if I can open it up a little bit more. Mm, I think I have to, ah, here, there is this tiny green thingy. All right off ah now I can easily open it up there it comes there they are wow here they are guys it looks like they're the wireless ones <laughs> that is like smart packaging or, or maybe it's not that smart because I don't like stuff, you know, I don't like it if stuff pretends to be more than it is. And it's totally fine that they've got wires, I don't mind. I actually find the wireless ones to be a bit scary. They look strange in a person's ears. Or maybe I just have to get used to it. Um, anyway, as you may know, this is an ASMR channel. Well, you probably know if you're listening to this video. And in the vast majority of my videos, um, I whisper, like so. So, um, I actually like the old school whisper sound. And these microphones have a, um, no, these earbuds have a microphone. And I like to use that to record my whispers sometimes. To give it like this lo-fi vibe. So that is actually why I ordered new ones. Well, also because my old ones were just broken and I also use them to listen to YouTube, to listen to podcasts and, you know. So here they are. They are in this little carton box thingy. Um, okay, let's take a look in a bit and let's see what else is in here. Now this is what I like about, about the boxing of Apple. Um, there's some paperwork in here and I would expect it to be hard to get it out. But there's this tiny little paper which makes it very easy to get it up. And that's just like the attention to detail that I really enjoy. Good job Apple. So this is the lightning connector. Well no, it says lightning connector, it isn't the connector itself of course. So let's get this little paper off of here. And now what this is, let's see. There is one little page. Disposal information for India. And this is printed in China. Well, the thing itself was created in Vietnam. Hm. All right, let's put that away. And then we've got two little booklets. One is the Apple One Year Limited Warranty Summary. Yeah, not going to read that. And then this is the AirPods Lightning Connector booklet. Um, I don't think I need to use this, but who knows? Yeah, there's the volume up, center button, volume down, and the microphone is on the back. That is good to know. Um, yeah, and then it just explains the way it works. Choking hazard. Um, yeah, and then also different languages. I think I sort of understand that. So let's put these away too. And let's take a look at the AirPods themselves. Uh, I think I can open it up like this. There is some glue attached. Ah, yes, here they are. All right, 
So here you can see they're not actually wireless. And look what happened. This thing is actually a little bit bent because of the way it was packaged. I don't know if that is like the way it usually comes, but I would expect it not to be, you know, because this is like fragile, those wires. But let's just assume they do work and otherwise it's a good thing I recorded this video so I can prove <laughs> that it came like this and I didn't do anything strange with them, like give them to my little son, for example. Um, all right, let's open it up some more. This side. And now also this side. I still do like the packaging, even though that little bent in the wire. So, ah, now they sort of come loose. And, ah, so here on the back side, there's actually the plastic of the connector thingy. So here they are. This now is just like a little garden thingy that I don't need anymore. Um, by the way, I remember that the AirPods that belong to my phone, the iPhone 7, um, they came in a little uh, plastic container that made, you know, that you could storage them in that were, yeah, was kind of sturdy. And this is clearly something that, you know, you can keep this box, but I'm probably not going to, and I'm not going to use it to store these iPods. Uh, ear, iPods, earpods. Um, I am saying like iPods, you know, like like the eye from the Apple, the iPhone. <laughs> but then I m make me think about my eyes, like ears and eyes. Well, never mind. I'm rambling. That's what sometimes happens in an ASMR channel. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look. They feel really soft, actually. Way different than my old ones. Although I think they were the same, you know to begin with but so here is the connector that fits in my phone which is a good thing then there are these two thingies that go in your ears uh, there's an L for left and an R for right um, or in Dutch since I'm Dutch it can be links and re uh, rechts which is the same letters but they're probably in English you know and then there's like um, there's music coming out, or music, sound, <laughs> it doesn't have to be music, of course, like I said, rambling. Um, there's sound coming out of here, sometimes, and here as well. And then the left and the right, it actually makes perfect sense, um, because you can, you know, put them in your ears only one way, because otherwise it would be really uncomfortable. Although, the last couple of nights I was using these, I would use them during the night when I'm trying to sleep because my son is sleeping in the same room as me and I don't want to wake him up and I am listening to whisper videos, obviously, to fall asleep to. Um, and because one of my old ones was broken, you know, one of the pots, I would uh, put the other one in one ear, but then if I would want to lie on my other side, I would actually want the ear pot to be in my other ear because otherwise, you know, when you're laying on top of it, it's uncomfortable. Um, but then I found out that you can actually put them in the other ear if you just turn them around and put them in upside down. And that actually worked pretty well, <laughs> which made me feel a little bit silly, but it was convenient. So here they are, two small thingies, and then there's also like a little hole in here, and I don't know what that is for. See? It's not for sound, I guess, because it's not close to your ear. And there's another one here too. Don't know. Well, then there's this thingy. And this is like the remote control. You can go ahead one song, go back one song, or for the volume, whatever. And there's also a button in the middle here. And then here on the back side, there is the microphone. And I don't know where the actual microphone is it is probably here but there should be like a little hole i guess will the sound go in here somewhere let's let's get the booklet and see you know if i'm going to use them for whispering i need to know where i need to be whispering although i know it is somewhere there because my old ones you know microphone 
So volume up and down, so maybe not skip a song. No, skip a song is apparently here in the center button. You can push that um, a short amount of time or a longer amount of time and then it will be like Morse code. <laughs> Rewind fast forward. So the microphone, yeah, it is in there apparently. Let me see if I can find it. Hearing loss, driving hazard, choking hazard, skin irritation, electrostatic shock, boy. And then there's already another language. So there probably isn't all that much information about the way the microphone works. Maybe I can find some more online, I don't know. Well, okay. I know from my old ones that if you just assume that the microphone is somewhere near here, then that does work because the sound gets um, recorded pretty well. Um, not as well as a really expensive microphone, but like I said, I like the old school vibe that that gives. Um, yeah, so I guess there's there are people like me, you know, who like that. And then there are people who like a really slick sound, who probably won't listen to my ASMR videos, and that is totally fine. Um, for now, there's this little box. I do like the box. I said I was probably not going to use it, but it's so smooth. And it's a bit heavy. It feels nice. Maybe I should keep it to put something in here. I don't know what. Um, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, thank you for uh, listening and watching this unboxing video. And ah, my cat Mike, come say hi at the end of the video. As she usually does. Uh, thank you for watching and I guess I'll speak to you soon. Bye.